Hi guys, Shane's here again. Um, this time I've got a briefcase. It's one of Kathy Order's designs. Um, you can buy kits for these from Diane's store and I'll leave all the information and products I used in the description box. I've used Trivic on the Trivic on the handle. Um, this stuff's amazing. You can't rip it. It's got to be cut and it'll, it'll hold up. The handle yeah, it'll hold up really well. So I've used that on the handle, as well as some of the paper from the collection. Um, Brad's. And I've used a Graphic 45 Antique Metal Door Pull. I've also used one of these on the dresser that I'm making, and I'll upload that within the next couple of days. As well as Vintage Corner, Metal Corners. And Seven Gypsies, I think it's Seven Gypsies Vintage Mini um, Ephemera for all the little tags and things. I've used a magnet to hold it shut and the paper I used I will leave in the description box as well. So it opens like this, the magnet's hidden, it's under there. And I've used vint uh, Vintage Photo Distress Ink on all of these. And the Tim Holtz um, Coordinations Paper. I think there's been a few of these made, so I won't, won't go into too much detail. The um, stamps I used on these pieces here are a Seven Gypsies stamp. And it is called Take Note. It's a rather large stamp. Hold on, see if I can... I've had for a long time so I don't even know if they still make it but that's what I've used for the tags and they're just an afterthought I've used just some stamps I've had for the corners and this one here oh no it's not this one and I've made a huge tag did some stamping And like I don't like putting photos in my albums yet. I wait till um, Diane's finished showing it or using it. It's all pretty straightforward. Like I said, Diane has kits for these, and I'm not too sure if she's going to have classes, but oh, I'll show that later. Um, and it opens up like this again. And um, like I said, I'm sure you've all seen them. This one's held together with a magnet. Some little stamps, tags. Opens up some more. Oops. Opens up some more tags. And this is the larger one. And the um, magnet as well. Stamping. Some more stamping on the back. Some more tags, sorry. Some more tags. The paper's uh, definitely masculine. I'd love to make one of these, uh, a feminine one. My, actually, my granddaughter's asked me if I'd make her one. And tags, pull out tags, and I've used a punch on the corner. And some of those um, Tim Holtz dies I've used there as well as that one there as well as that one there just to cover that piece up and then like Kathy has the three pockets down the side this one here, oh, they all have the flap but I don't know if I like it there I quite like it tucked away see it goes in there and there's a little tag in there as well okay trying to do this one handed just isn't the go and this one, I also I made a little tag. Oh, and I made a tiny little one here. Sorry, it wasn't even in sh shot, was it? So, that is a briefcase. And I used 2mm thick 
chipboard on this it was really quite thick and I ran into a few problems because I didn't adjust the measurements but um, if you use lightweight chipboard, medium weight chipboard I mean it'll work absolutely wonderfully that's the back like I said I'll leave the dis in the description box everything that I used and like I said you can get kits from Diane just give her a holler Okay guys, as always, take it easy, take care, and I'll see you very, very soon with a Kathy Order dresser. Thank you, see ya.